So here it's come back from my buddy who's welded that up for me. Um, so he's not actually welded the old tabs on, he's just built it up. And he said it would be a much stronger. Um, he said it was actually really nice to weld. Um, he says you don't find cast alley as good as that often these days. Putting it in there, I'll clock it up with this edge and then we'll face it off and uh, give ourselves a good edge. And once I've done that, I'll then drill the holes ready for the studs. So that's what we'll do. I'll probably come back once I've got Starting to work. Got through now so that it's flat, but we're gonna have to keep going a little bit more. Try and get rid of some of these um, corrosive holes like that. I've been going at five thou per time, but we're gonna wind that down I think now to two and a half thou per and I'm going to stop where I am now. I don't want to keep chasing cavities. So let's take that away. We can see we've got some cavitation going on here where the welders, um, the gas has stayed in there. But I don't think it's going to affect it too badly. What I will do is just put a just a lot of gentle, gentle smear of. Uh, RTV around there just to take up any of these little air pockets um, and that that will be fine so I've kept it fairly thick still I fear if I keep going I'll just be chasing air pockets so I'm gonna I'm gonna just stop there so here we are back at home uh, and we are ready for reassembly so here it is that's the face, and uh, I, I rubbed it over uh, some some wet and dry. Uh, cleaned it out with a bit of um, purely calf. That's why it's I left it in there a little bit too long. You can see it started to discolor it there, but I tried to clean out all the oils and bits and bobs that sort of fell into it from being in the workshop. Um, so I cleaned that up. New O-ring, the O-ring I'd used before, I used some sealer on there, so I'm not going to use any of that this time because uh, this surface is pretty good. Um, I've made a new top plate. Uh, this time I've, I've welded the um, holder for that because when I try and use the stock standard one, it lifts it up too high and then it uh, wouldn't line up with this hole so it's a bit of a fiddly old job because that's got to go in first and then this on top and then I have to wiggle this down and, and get it to get in there so it's a bit of a wiggle but it does go in there I've trial fit it a couple of times so I'm gonna get ahead we'll go on with that and get this all bolted together
Das <laughs> I might as well drink it. <laughs> 